Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out the Single Cut Beersmith's Charlie's Good Tonight IPA. So single cut beer smiths out of Astoria, New York, I believe. Let's read this can to make sure we got it. Yeah, Astoria and Clifton Park, so two locations. Brewing can by single cut beer smiths. Um, got a picture of a drummer. Well, not a drummer, but like a suit with a hi hat as a head and uh, some legs as a stand. So, <laughs> I mean, we talked about this before, but they had this huge like upstairs area mm -hmm. where they had like all these musical instruments and like. I guess bands play there and yeah i thought there was a guy like playing a live set there i forget it was a long time ago yeah but it was cool uh can read six percent charlie's good tonight ipa it's an ale um drink asap in a clean wide mouth glass store upright and cold unfiltered decant carefully mystery mastery knows no shortcut so this is the best we can decant hopefully it's good enough for you so Single Cut offers hazy IPAs as well as other stuff that we've had. We've had like a couple Pilsners, I think. Um, not so many like stouts and darker beers, but definitely a lot of their IPAs are on the hazier side. So, well, looking at this beer, um, it's kind of hazy. It's I mean, definitely hazy. Yeah. Definitely opaque. It's a hazy beer. Just by looking at this, my guess is that this is probably a lighter bodied IPA than, you know, something that's not. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, when you see this sort of like inch where the light refracts back out of the glass and colors it a little bit lighter, that's kind of how I know anyways. Lots of pineapple. Yeah, wow. That almost reminds me of smelling like a fruit cup or something. Yeah. Like that's really like sweetly pineapple. Like I just opened up a can of uh, pineapple chunks. Like dole chunks? Yeah, yeah, pineapple slices. Not a whole ton of lacing either. Uh, seems to dissipate rather quickly, but um, Let's get into it and see how it goes. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, so as expected, lighter lighter in body than, than you'd expect. I'm getting this bitterness that I wasn't expecting as much. Like I was getting, I, I, I was assuming yeah. this was gonna be like a softer mouthfeel with the tropical notes, uh, with the pineapple especially up front, but I'm getting quite a bit of bitterness. More than the aroma would have you believe. Yes. I kind of dig that though. It's like layers of flavor. Yeah, but although the bitterness though isn't one of, you know, it's not sticking around. It, it just kind of like cleanses out. It's a clean finish for sure. Yeah. It's like deep and dank. Kind of reminiscent of like a West Coast IPA bitterness would be. Now, I think this is double dry hopped, right? It doesn't say. It doesn't? I couldn't find any information on that whatsoever. Um, all we've got is a, a date on the bottom and what they said on the can, so. Mm doesn't really specify. Usually breweries like this, I feel like they tout that. They'll say, oh, it's double dry hop. Like that's a hype thing. Let's do it. Yeah. Um, but this doesn't say anything about even it being significantly dry hopped. I mean, obviously it is. Yeah. Right. But who's to, who's to say? They're very um, curt in their descriptions of this beer, you know, and all their beers actually, the, it just says like what the beer is, uh, drink it quick, enjoy it. Um, have fun. I feel like Single Cut's branding is of that sort of like minimalist nature where they just want the art, they want the basics on the on the text, and that's it. Like no bullshit. Yeah, I've noticed that all their labels are pretty, it's, it's like they go with a solid background color or a solid something in the back and then just one image in the front and that's it. Yeah, very clean yeah. aesthetic for the Single Cut. I'd like to know why the uh, the brand itself, the logo has kind of what I think looks like a mustache on the top of it. The two yeah. like hump, or, Oh, you're talking humps. about this thing right here? Yeah, they're actually logo, it's the single, cut, single cut, and then over it is what looks like the top of a mustache. I always thought that was interesting, but I'm not sure if that is a mustache or if it's just the way it is. I'm interpreting things. I guess maybe like, if it were flat, it would look like a Reese's cup. 
So maybe yeah. they were trying to avoid that? I don't know, that's weird. Yeah, why is it a mustache? It was like the owner, CEO, like had a big mustache, like a curly, one maybe, of those yeah. those fancy like chic, you know, New York City. Style, like <laughs> yeah, like a boho mustache, like, oh, fancy, I own a brewery. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, overall, I mean, I think I like this beer. I just, the bitterness caught me off guard a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it does have those notes of pineapple. It's very dry, um, you know, in the finish. Uh, it doesn't linger around, but I think I felt like because of the coloration of the can and the way it looked when it poured, I felt like it was gonna be way fruitier than it actually turned out to mm -hmm. be. All right, guys, well, that does it from us. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you liked what you saw, hit that like button and click the subscribe button if you'd like to see more beer-related content. Until next time, stay crafty. Cheers.